This video of an Orange County school resource officer went viral back in November, and now that eighth grader, and it says she was also attacked by a bully just before the SRO pulled her hair, and it was all captured on camera. Channel 9's Lauren Seabrook joins us live from Westridge Middle School. Lauren, the fight started there at the school, and you talked to that little girl today. And Greg, she says during the fight, that eighth grader, she came and took her backpack and she took off with it. She went to another apartment complex. She says she went to the apartment complex to get her backpack back from the girl. The fight continued. That's when SROs got involved. And she said one SRO kept his cool. The other one did not. I'm tired of this 13-year-old Wilmica Edmonds says this was a traumatizing experience for her. I try not to think about it. In November, she says a bully at Westridge Middle School attacked her and grabbed her backpack. She says the fight continued at a nearby apartment complex where the other girl took her stuff. That's when school resource officers got involved. This video shows SRO Harry Reed pulling Edmund's hair. Yeah, I was like, why is he doing that? Because I ain't doing nothing wrong. Attorneys say Reed then put the eighth grader's arms behind her back and made her sit in the back of his squad car for 10 minutes. I was scared. I was thinking about it, and my mom was outside talking to them. I was like, what, what did I put myself into? Orange County Sheriff John Mina fired Reed when he saw the video. I am extremely upset, disappointed, and outraged. And now Reed's charged with battery. This reinforces to children that even when officers do wrong or bad, that they will also be held responsible just as we teach those students. Edmund says she hopes the charges will make other school resource officers think twice about how they interact with students. Because the police officers won't do something like that again because uh, they see what happened from the situation and they will learn from me. And the girl's attorneys plan to file a lawsuit against the sheriff's office sometime in the next six months. They told me today they feel she should be compensated for her pain and suffering. Reporting live in Orange County, Lauren Seabrook, Channel 9 Eyewitness News. New right now.